Welcome to the art project. This is going to be about the shape drawing method, about using simple shapes to accurately render a drawing of another object or another picture. All right, I'm going to continue uh, with the shape drawing method. Um, this is to scale things up. What I'm going to focus on is this one uh, T-Rex. Using simple shapes, I'm going to transfer him to here, blowing him up all the time. So some of the simple shapes are circles, squares, triangles, and ovals. The top of the head, or his head, is obviously like a big circle, right? And that circle follows certain lines that are already existing there and ignoring others. You know what, I wanna make that a little bit bigger. So I'm going to reproduce this circle right over here, just the circle. Now it's important that you get this circle right, you get that the right size. So I wanna look at this compared to my overall lines. Look at this, look at this, and look at how much space the circle takes up. This circle, takes up a whole lot more space than I've drawn it right here. So I'm gonna redo that circle. And this is why I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of time drawing the face because my circle needs to be a whole lot larger. So I have resized my circle several times to get the right size T-Rex. Pay real close attention to this and pay real close attention to this. I'm not worried about the sidelines because there are none here. What I'm worried about is the height. How tall do I want him? I want him six inches tall. Does his head touch the top? No. Does his head touch the bottom? No. Where is his head in relationship to all of this and how big is it? Much bigger than I originally thought. So I now have this big circle. Now if you've drawn lightly, you'll be able to erase uh, anything you don't need. This part of his body for me is, you know, this is like the bottom of an oval, right? I'm gonna draw a, a complete oval or a complete circle maybe, and I'm gonna look at where this is in relationship to this. It's not much further down. In fact, it's not quite halfway. If you measure from here to here, then the distance to here is not quite half, right? So maybe about right there. I'm going to take my oval. I'm going to also look right here where it starts. It overlaps my other oval a little bit. So don't, don't draw your oval here too, too long. Not too short. You want to get that just right. Look at where the top of my oval is here compared to the top of the circle I drew before. Pretty close in size. His head is almost the same size as his body. Again, I can go back and erase the lines that I don't need. I want to constantly be lining things up. His, um, like his backside and his tail. See how the tail almost goes straight up? If I drop a plumb line along his backside, you know, straight up, it just cuts off the tip of his tail. So if I draw a line right here, his tail is what's touching the top. So his tail, like right here and this kind of comes around and then follows that line this line right here look at his back and his head how they line up with his calf so if his calf and look at this his calf just barely goes past his backside so his calf is like right here somewhere I'm going to draw a line right here, and I think that's going to show me where this goes. Uh, there are some other small uh, shapes here. We have this thigh, which is inside of his body, and then we have this calf, which is another circle outside of his body. Notice how it touches this line that I drew. His thigh lines up with the back of his head and is a calf. So it's like right here. 
Then there is his calf, which is another circle, as we talked about. The back of his ankle, his heel. His heel is way beyond this line right here. His heel may be somewhere out here. Um, so this may need to angle up. Always look at your angles. If this line is right, and it may not be, then the ankle is parallel with that line. So I think maybe my ankle is more right there, and my heel more right there. The arch almost goes straight down right there. Also notice that his the pad of his feet are not on this bottom line. They are above it. Constantly lining things up. So I've got one right here, one right here, one right here. One. And look at where this one lines up with his kneecap, which I don't have drawn yet, but would be about right there. One. Two. They overlap a little. And three. Big old massive toes. Front of the leg, that would be like the shin. And then there is the kneecap. Top of the foot. And the top of the toe. All right, you're starting to see how this T-Rex is becoming this T-Rex. Look at this foot, and I'm just gonna look at it as a oval. I wanna put it in the right place. What does it line up with? If I draw a line straight behind that foot, it lines up with the top of his thigh. If I draw a line in the front of it, I can see on the circle where it goes. That's a big oval. Also look at how close it is to the body size that up right. Um, so that's where his foot's going to be. So all of this helps us to get it enlarged, right, without losing the correct proportions. Be sure and look at what it is you're drawing. Don't make stuff up. These line up at this angle. So I probably need to lose a little bit of that. So I'm going to erase the wrong stuff so you can see what I'm left with. All the time you're doing this, you're, you're trying to build a stronger eye. You're trying to learn to see things more uh, correctly and get things lined up in proportion with one another. Look at where one line starts, and then look at where it ends. Look at what its curve is. Notice how many lines there are if, you know, if there's divisions like this. One, two, three. You'll notice how this line is a continuation so if I'm going to draw that, I want to make this a continuation. 